Welcome back, one and all. Season 2 playoffs. Day 2 is in full swing, and we're working our way through our double elimination bracket as we speak. Jack and Jake joining me for all the action here in the NA region. Let's uh, look at a bracket, actually, first, to set up our next match. It's the finals oh, yeah. in the upper bracket. TSM going up against Timeless. Uh, both sharing the first place, actually, in the regular season standings. Timeless with a slightly better map differential, but overall, quite quite the same actually they've not actually played against one another at all during the regular season so we don't know exactly how they will be stacking up uh, let's take a look at the rosters here and discuss timeless uh i mean they were fearly feeling themselves yesterday at the end of their match versus citrus vision rolled out on the widow maker like i dreamt about it i can't the nano <laughs> yeah, i know got the nano as well yeah they were feeling it okay that and that is the confidence i want to see on the server today it turned a little silly there but they still you know they still took it serious they didn't drop it uh, but they definitely ended their day yesterday on a high note Oh, I mean, they've not lost uh, a map through the low, uh, through the upper bracket yet. Citrus Nation, Shikigami, it was a 3-0. Like, this team, uh, realistically, I think, is going to take the grand finals, but TSM is their, definitely their greatest opposition, like you were saying, so. Yeah, Squid and Kuffa are a duo that I think I've been having my eyes on every time I see them play. It's like the nade comes in, and Kuffa is just right there farming. So these Winston dives on a Winston style, really threatening from Timeless. Absolutely. And um, this is the opposition TSM. Uh, they did, of course, make some roster changes. Uh, Renko is, uh, I think, the la last or latest addition in their roster. What have we learned from them thus far in the playoffs? Well, I mean, I think Rocket is, is definitely going to be the player that a lot of people remember from his like great performance in OWCS Stage 1 of this year, looking like one of the best tracers in the region. Um, we'll see if he's able to bring that same level. I think he's going to need to going up against TSM, or rather up against Timeless for TSM. We'll need to see Rocket be a huge performer uh, when it comes to that tracer. Icy, Lep, and Renko, see if they can make it work as far as uh, backline to keeping Icy alive. But I'm curious to see where they take it stylistically. I feel like their best look is probably playing around like a Lucio style for Lep versus I think the Ana Brig mirror is going to be pretty scary going up against Timeless. Yeah, that seems like to me, yeah. Lucio Brig versus uh, Kiriko Rush. <laughs> Well, we'll find out for sure. Uh, one thing we know that is that neither team has really been pushed as far in the playoffs, so this is going to be their first real test. They have not faced off against each other, as we said, yet in the regular season. So what better way to find out how they stack up than the upper bracket finals? Guys, take it away. Thank you very much, Zoe. Yeah, yeah, I meant uh, the Alna Brick, uh, not Lucy Brick, of course. So, Mo, Kings Row, Nusapi, New Junk City, Junker Town. Wow, New Junk City and Junker Town. That's crazy. That is crazy. Um, Let's have a look how we stack up here with Timers and TSM, Jake. Three ex League players as well on TSM side. King for the Vancouver Titans, Lep for Van uh, Los Angeles Valiant, and Renko for the San Francisco Shock. You might, uh, some of you might remember the Renko smile from a long time ago. Wait, was Lep was, uh, on Valiant? I thought he, he was on Houston, but did he join Valiant? Oh, no, not, no, not Lep. On, yeah, on Houston, sorry. Might be, might be. I was thinking of someone else. Yeah, Here oh, we go, Samoa. Experience roster versus, I would say, kind of like a next generation squad. Uh, on Timeless with, with a lot of players who, uh, Luke Mino played in the Overwatch League, but you know, no one ever, no one else got a shot. But honestly, I kind of favor Timeless. I think they're maybe the stronger team here as TSM rock up here on the Divacom. Maybe that's gonna be their, you know, the ace up their sleeve, right? To take this on a break mirror. Icy on the Diva is gonna be much more comfortable than for Kuffa. So this is gonna be a real contest between the teams on the tank, right? Like, can you make this a Winston game or, or is D.Va still the dominant choice? Queen as well, another another very strong matchup uh, into the Winston. But I think Luke Mino's choice to play Ilari on this map is actually pretty wide. It's a wide open map, a lot of space for Ilari to work. And it's gonna really put the pressure on TSM to get aggressive. I love Alari on this map. Uh, there is, a, I will say, there's a disgusting solo queue angle which you can take by the surfboards just below our camera here and then you can shoot across the point and up onto the high ground. You just put the pilot on the surfboard, or on the surfboards on the height. This is the angle here, 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 here right here, Jake. Take this in your rank games, it's pretty sick. Solo like your angle. Ah, uh, the hit scan gets the good angle, Jack. This is, this is, this is a pro match. We, we no, 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 Alari's a hit Alari's scan, Alari's a Alari's 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 angle. No, 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 look at this. Get the leftovers on Alari, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's just, just, it's just <laughs> Not if I hit more shots, buddy. All right, Farah versus, it's gonna be tough, actually. Um, nice direct, but uh, onto Luke Camino. It's gonna be tough for, Junkenstein, it's, they've Should got the streamer mode absolutely on. Absolutely own multiple hits to King. at the same time. 
Yeah, it, it's going to be Ooh. tough. Ooh. That was a shot and a half. Yeah, this is a disgusting angle for the Alari right here. Yeah, Luke Mino, you know, main support has looked really good, especially on the Brig for this squad, but I think a very strong aimer as well, right? Has historically been really good on the Batiste, and the Alari should be, you know, totally comfortable for him as well. Able to leverage his aim to, to put down big damage, and yeah, I mean, King on the far, he's gonna have a tough matchup, right? It's Ana, Alari, and Ash all shoot up, not to mention Winston. The, the, the fourth yeah. hit scan on the squad. This is gonna the be super difficult for The fourth hit scan. <laughs> yeah, I oh, guess with he's the right Duncan signing in. <laughs> Junkenstein, it was King, and then it was Junkenstein. All good. You, everybody remember that Junkenstein is King. He hasn't name swapped. All right, well, there's the Nano on to Mr. King as he uh, takes the high ground. Lucamino instantly going down to that Nano Farah. No chance to shoot back the damage resistance. Even with four quote unquote hit scans on their side, it's going to be tough to take down the. Uh, now, Farah, but now with a later Nano boost onto cover, I mean, you're not taking this point right now if you're TSM. You need a clean wipe here, or at least a couple extra picks. Well, there's one at the very least, uh, with Vision going down. And as soon as I say that, Squid also falls to Rocket, the Tracer Eraser. Um, not to be Hold anymore. On. Winnable. Oh, so, I mean, is it winnable? Uh, yeah. Cover super low. 40 HP. Mash is actually stay alive. There's the barrage straight on top of cover. Deletes the bubble, deletes the Winston. Not sure if it's winnable any longer as King Not comes anymore. back on the far. Just dominates Lucamino, sends him straight back to spawn. Oh, oh but an overextension gets punished, right? The players were back alive for Timeless. The wave spawn as well came up, and now it's going to be a down one hold for TSM. They do have this rally. Got to be careful. Left gets right in there, but oh, beautiful Dancy. nade. Unbelievable nade there coming through from Squid. Instantly deletes left. The rally is completely gone. TSM is going to fall over. Got about 30% or so, but now time is now going to set back up with Luke Amino and Squid sitting far away. King's still not swapped off this far either, Jake. Just very much committing to the bit at this point. Yeah, frankly, it's been a rocky start, and I feel Luke Mino, yeah, you can use a Nano Farah, it shuts him down, but like, can you repeat that without the Nano Farah? Because honestly, without Nano, I think Farah would just die for that type of a play. And you're still forced to make something happen. These hit scans are just so dominant from Timeless. So many strong aimers, individual mechanical players, and this is a comp where they can really shine. Oh, there's the captive son. He sees King. Oh, he's going for him. Does land the... I think that was a land of the connect, uh, connection too, but there's no use kind of following that one up. You'll be in no man's land. Looks like Renko kind of burning alive here at the hands of Vision. Those Dynamite's doing a fair bit of work, but now they've got the Nano. This is what they've been relying on for the last uh, couple of fights. A uh, nade there, one to Ice. He forces the remake. Unfortunate reload there for King. Still found himself in a good spot in the back line. No bubble to save Squid. As Doomed also ends up falling over to Rocket. So a 99% flip there for TSM. Now, once again, the Nano Farah is an incredibly potent tool. You know, that's the weakness of the Winston. Normally very strong, but it, I don't hate the concept for King and Renko to, to be punishing Kuffa for sticking on his Winston. He's really comfortable in the character, has been really strong on it. But that means if King can find his windows, he can make hay. Still 99% timeless. This should be an easy retake with no ultimates available for TSM. Maybe Rocket can be the hero with a pulse bomb. Keep getting chased there by Icy. So is pretty low, a nade onto the Winston, but a very late nano boost tops him all the way back up. And wow, the back line just got folded like a bit of paper. Renko and Leb instantly down, Primal popped, a barrage comes in, instantly killed by Vision. Uh, that's round, Jake. A 99% flip, Timeless, uh, gonna take it. The neutral game from Timeless was really phenomenal here in these trades, you know, what, <laughs> is that a bunch of basketballs? It's the coconuts. You never seen oh, that before? Oh, I haven't seen that. that was yeah, when you when you win. Yeah. It's... No, no, no. It happens on low graphics too, I think. Oh, does it? I think? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it was coconuts. Or I just fall asleep when the game ends. I know. Oh, no, really? It. Wow. Maybe that's asleep. surprising. I've never seen that, I guess. You get bored of losing, I assume. Nah, yeah. I just so... think I never win, so I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead at the respawn. <laughs> yeah. Timeless gonna keep with the Winston on this map. You are cooking to play Winston. Okay, yeah. Couple oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. TSM though, I think this is actually a comfort zone comp for them. They they have looked strong right. historically. This allows them to go back to the Lucio, and it should be a, potentially a spot where they can equalize. On the flip side though, if Timeless can win this, they're gonna be feeling very confident in the series. And I love the Reaper actually here. I think so strong in the current meta. Rocking the Mythic maybe. Oh, yep. Rocking the Mythic. 10% extra damage, if you didn't know. All right, Thomas, what you got for us? I, what do you think about the uh, Sombra hit? 
It's interesting, maybe, but uh, you're playing really for that EMP. I, I'm not sure she's going to be that useful in the neutral game. But the Reaper can kind of handle the poke trade, so maybe you can get away with this Sombra. I mean, if you go aggressive like that as well, you've got to be scared uh, if you're king on the venture. If you get hacked, that's a, pretty much a guaranteed kill. Nice little charge in there by Icy, but already suffering an immense amount of damage. Use that Cardiac Overdrive to stay up, and it looks like it's actually timeless. Uh, slowly but surely getting poked out by this venture. Still a lot of AOE damage too, and a comp that wants to stick together. The venture can dish out a sizable amount of damage with just the left clicks. Yeah, and Venture is super annoying, especially for someone like Reaper, who, you know, she can kind of uh, sit just outside the range on Venture. And then if Reaper does get in the mix, is like getting super aggressive, you can always drill him back uh, away from your teammates and create that space. Uh, but it's a great Cardiac Overdrive. The cooldown advantage is so important in this Malgam uh, Whoever gets the better Cardiac Overdrive almost certainly going to win the fight. So both teams heavily investing in their Maga and trying to enable that to happen. Vision's so low. Coalescence to open up this fight. They're going to match it with a rush. TSM very much in the driver's seat right now of this fight, although saying that King is going pretty low. The healing coming out from that coalescence there was just immense. Sound barriers on either side as Icy lays down that cage. He's managed to trap one. It is going to be the Sombra. No use uh, trying to translocate away, unfortunately. A pulse bomb ends cover slide. Quick sharp as uh, TSM still in full control of this point. That cost him five ultimates, though, Jack. That was absolutely everything in the tank. So TSM win the fight, but Timeless have a great shot to retake the point with maybe something just an EMP, just a cage. If you can win with one ult, you're going to be feeling pretty good about your chances to come back in this round oh, if you're King. Timeless. I'm pretty low there. EMP, Death Blossom still available. Like you said, King, Dro dashes away, gets that shield up, but oh, God off guard. Yeah, that shield still stripped away from any character after that EMP is used. Doom with the Death Blossom 2 can just kind of hold this door. I mean, TSM at this point, you, they know they've lost the fight. It's all about just kind of stalling for extra time. But I mean, luckily for time, as they save this Death Blossom, they got the cage, they got the combo. I mean, they, they did what I said, right? Winning with one ult, that's exactly what you what you needed. And TSM, they have nothing, right? It's going to be a good long period of farming before they get an ultimate up. So Timeless would love to snowball that fight win into a few back to back here and start charging up percentage. Maybe you can even slow the game down here and just hide and hold the point. TSM don't have much of a way to force the issue here without ultimates. Oh, I mean, they gotta know Cuff has got this case. It's kind of waiting for everybody to group up right now, but TSM acutely aware of the facts. And they've got ult. Looks like Cuff is just gonna dive in. Coalescence is gonna start the fight off. They managed to find uh, Renko, does force the swift step pretty quickly. As you can see, TSM with a fast regroup. Yeah, now TSM have bridged the gap. They've got that rush online. They could be scary, though, up against Doom's Death Loss. On only way to counter it to cage. Stomping it by ice. Oh, that's a good cage, too. Four people caught in it. The Death Boss is pretty big. That sound barrier to keep them alive as well. I mean, that's fight over. No chance. Three ultimates burned from Timeless. Four, uh, four if you want to count that coalescence. The previous fight as a TSM just get team wiped. I would love to see Timeless just go super fast with his EMP, right? If TSM get their ultimates off, you're going to be looking at a really difficult fight. But if you can EMP, especially this Lucio, this could be a really challenging engagement. Look, Vision looking for it. set up for the play. Vision's looking for it too. It's just right behind him. Oh, they find Lips. him. That's huge. He has to be huge. Oh, yeah, but Vision has to use a Transicator to get away. Sound Barrier comes in from Lab super early, trying to win this fight, and they track him down. They track down Vision and kill him. No EMP available from Timeless. They're one win condition in that fight. They got no survivability, no staying power either, as Lucamino and Squid use their support ultimates in the last one. And now TSM are going to try and push the spawn doors, put Timeless in an awkward spot where they have to touch. Yeah, Doom's gonna go over to the Venture, maybe get the Recontest, but it's tough. It's a long way to the point, 95% on the cards. You've gotta force it, it's timeless. Cage available. Take Tonic Shock as well. This is rough. They do end up getting this touch though, Jake, most importantly. And they can maybe bait TSM in. They got this EMP, they've been holding on to this whole time. EMP lands, it hits Renko. Icy lays down the cage though, and here comes the Shock, just rippling through TSM. Oh, it's just too much damage. There's no way you sustain through this. And then Rocket has a Pulse Bomb to top off if they really needed it as well. TSM in a comp that they very much call home. I shall win that round. It's a big round by King's Venture, right? Like, able to find big impact not only in the first fight, but clutching out there. And well played by the team to find that spy check on to Vision. I think Vision would have loved EMP early, but when he gets decloaked, has to back out, has to retreat, and they're able to, you know, keep the pressure on, not allow the Sombra to reset their position. Wonderfully done by TSM. And that's a comp 
maybe they're not going to be able to play the whole series very map dependent style but it's a it's a you know shows what tsm can do on a lucio comp where i think they're going to be most comfortable most confident uh, in this series as it continues let's see what they end up uh, playing here then i mean king just chilling on the far just more than happy to play this a bit more of a fast style as well this round right not as much a Alari play, so only one target, maybe, well, two with Squid, I suppose. That's going to be chunking you. So it's going to be tough. I mean, Kuffa can be, should have no trouble just holding this point down. Renko, I think, on the Ana is going to be the linchpin. Needs to find big nades on the back line. First one does not connect. Okay, King taking permanent fire. See if Renko can land some bigger uh, by the grenades. King going super low. Point unlocked now. It's gonna be, I mean, you can have a lot of patience in this style. Diva can also hold King the point, is but Doomed wins the 1v1. King, far away. Yeah, super far away from Renko. Just, you saw Renko just look over to the silhouette of his dying Fara. Not a good start for TSM. And yeah, with Icy going uh, rather low as well, they're gonna have to back up. Nice kill onto Rocket. Can you back? I mean, now left's caught alone. Oh, that's a big mistake. And I mean, this Lucio Ana support line is very powerful and explosive, has a lot of aggressive potential, but it also lacks flexibility, right? If your Farah splits LOS, there's no rig pack you could throw to her. There's no Kiriko who can, who can you know, go close that gap through the wall. Ana break here, Ana Lucio, rather, they can't really make any mistakes. They need to get in there and get a nade down and get this dive off. But so far, Timeless have just been too difficult to catch. All right. Nano on the Farah. It's worked once, can it work again? Nade, through the center, does hit one, I think. It looked like it landed, at the very least. I think recalled. Nano on the Farah, oh, not anymore though. Vision with a sharp shot there onto Mr. King, ends up taking him down. Nano boost on the Debra instead now, as Cover just trying to use this window to take down Icy. But I mean, the Debra's just going Mac for like 10, just at the back line. Nice triple kill from Icy after a season and a boost. Oh, a perfect post bomb from Doom, though. Just denies the remake, and they're going to be able to get into this fight. They're still yeah. contesting, of course, and they're still racking up percent. I mean, Lucio and Tracer are such elusive characters. Great for the stall. Doom needs to live now, though. Oh, my oh, goodness. What a recall. Before his eyes on Actual that. Neo moment, like <laughs> Matrix, like dash straight under that. Oh, clean from Doom. Good post bomb on. Super. Yeah, onto the uh, Ash, I believe that was, yeah, but the uh, good uh, lamp from Squid saves their life. Bob comes in, joins the fight as the beat comes through from TSM. It's going to match with Luke Amino as they end up just pulling back here, just keeping themselves alive. King with a barrage in about 8% or so, and there's the push. Nothing Vision can do there, just fully bathed in a defense matrix as King hits a nasty direct on Squid. Bit of revenge there, you've got to be said. Annihilation, Jake, they're just going to keep this fight going. They still control the point here. It's uh, Timeless have been... Uh, they've done a fantastic job of just stalling out as much and eking out as much percent as humanly possible. Yeah, and Kuffa has so much HP here. Not much support uh, behind him, but he's able to stay alive and continue battling. You don't need all point. that. The That's fact that they're in control is just so powerful for Timeless, right? They're able to play these long, scrappy fights, and they're just slowly winning the game. Turning into quickly winning the game now as TSM has one more chance and zero ultimates to work with. I think the no ultimate fights are really going to favor Timeless. They don't really need an ultimate nearly as badly because they're happy with this slow status quo vision and squid with a lot of space to work with. Yeah, an easy point to touch as well, so no fear of a C9. So next ultimate coming up is Doomed, as King is now just pressuring out Kuffa. Pressuring the Nemesis form out of him is going to be a good start for TSM. I'm happy to take this slow, see if Vision can find any picks, but TSM trying to build a, a Nano Farah potentially of their own. Could be the way to split this open. And a nade on the Kuffa while he's half HP, not bad. Not bad at all. Another post one from Doomed. He's looking for a target. Oh, oh, oh he's DC'd. Uh, Doomed is definitely DC'd there. Yeah, Lucamina calling for the pause. It's going to gonna have to come in pretty quick. The window's going to get used here. Try and keep Kuffa alive. Nano. Oh, you see Icy. Oh, my word. Never seen something move so fast in my life. They're all dead, Jack. The Nano Diva has arrived. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Icy is like half HP, so maybe there's a world where you can like nuke him out of the mech or, or put damage on him. So he has to stop shooting, he has to Matrix. Maybe there's a world, but that's a painful one, right? Such a contentious fight. It's I do a 1-1 as well. 
they, they still have a great spot in the round, right? They, they have a lot of percent. Even if they do sure. lose this fight and, and get flipped on, I think they have a really good shot to retake with ultimates. And they can even play their way out of this one, too. At least you have to pause your opportunity to, to recoup and think, okay, what are we going to do? But yeah, that sucks to, to lose your your tracer holding the position. Oh, we go to the first person POV as well. It's like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wow, dude's movement's pretty good. And then he's, just <laughs> he's running into the wall. Running into the wall. <sighs> I was like, hey, looking for the pulse. Uh, uh, yeah. Unfortunate disconnect there from uh, Doomed. Yeah. The uh, the pause does come through, but I mean, the fight's pretty much done. Like you said, the Diva, like warp speed, like straight through the window with the Nano. Dude, it's so, it's so ridiculous. You know what's yeah. really funny, actually? Um, with the Juno, Juno being meta, it's like you get the amp up, sure, with, uh, with the Lucio, but when you use the speed ring, you're getting that so often. It's like a nuclear bomb, like straight towards you. It's God, it's crazy. Let's Speaking of which, do. let's get a BOV of the uh, uh, the fighter jet. Well, they do use the lamb, so they're going to survive at least for the Great time being. I see mech is uh, going pretty low. Yeah, that shield from cover being rather clutch and stopping a lot of that damage coming in. Well, I guess uh, Doom didn't use pulse, so he's going for this fight, I suppose. Timers do end up losing vision to a pulse from a rocket in a 5v4 yet again. As the stick from the Doom does land, gets him a revenge, but this sound barrier from TSM, yeah, they're just gonna roll over this front line. TSM have only got 29%, so Timus, they've still got it in them. You know, I think on the back of that stick play from Doom comes back in, is unfazed by the DC, gets the pulse bomb on Renko, and that, that forces Lep to beat. He knows he needs to win the fight quickly, he's gotta rip the beat. Now Timeless with some pretty solid ults for the retake, right? I think Vision's Bob is one that I have my eye on here. Would have been really powerful, I think, to just help them pressure the point uh, and force to get TSM out of this position where they're just kind of sitting back and healing up Icy. All right, Samurai advantage for Luke Amino as well. You're feeling pretty good if you're uh, timeless right now. You've got Bob Annihilation coming up, and TSM, their front line's going so low. Icy's already desuited, and he might end up going down too. Look at Doom just peeking this corner. Yeah, an easy kill onto the pilot Diva. So little health, so little health from the back line from TSM. King is also going to fall, and despite that disconnect, Jake, timeless are going to be able to take this map. Oh. That's a rare environmental kill uh, on that side of the map. They got Ulster Spare. They had Bob and the Annihilation. Timeless ended up taking this first map. I mean, TSM just kind of fell apart there in the end, right? Like, yeah. I think the Ana Lucio went to rotate to play that, like, left side high ground, maybe to look for a nade. And I see it was completely separated from them, completely away. Maybe the miscommunication. They're not able to heal him. He gets desuited, has to bomb, and gets... I mean, there's no one to even help him in the baby form, so he just gets finished off while the bomb's going off. So... I mean, really well done by Timus to keep that pressure on and also the composure to recover from a fight. Maybe you should have won that last fight without the DC. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe not. But you just come right back in and clean up the map. You're not going to be worried about that at all going into the rest of the series. Yeah, mental completely unfazed. King's Rope, the map up next. TSM uh, getting that first, uh, getting the second round, sorry, with that Malga comp. Um, rather unsuccessful against Luke Amino and Vision, kind of dominating King in the skies on the first round. We'll see uh, what the game plan is for TSM going into the next one, because you can't, we're, again, we're not thankfully in the Malga meta anymore, so you can't perma play that pick. Do you expect them to maybe try it though? It's, you know, it's an odd choice, I think, to go for King's Row, because for me, King's Row is kind of an on a brig dive map. Maybe you, you believe in this D.Va. I mean, we could see that, like, maybe that D.Va far look come out again. I don't think that's actually a bad idea at all. Maybe that's their vision uh, for King's Row. But uh, to be honest, the Ana Brig matchup is a place where, in general, I just, I like Timeless. I think they just look super strong on it. Squid's Ana is lights out, so consistent, finding the enemy backline. And Luke Mino really offers that stability on main sport, especially on the Brig. Yeah, they, um, they're they looking good, and they are the favorites to win the whole thing. Of course, making it here. Going, what, 6-0, and oh, Shikigami and Citrus Nation. They didn't lose a map to either team. They come out uh, They come out kind of joint first place with TSM uh, in the in the group stages. Both 10-1. and one. They had a bit better of a time. TSM ended, ended up playing more maps. They went to more map fives. Um, time is a little bit cleaner in that regard. Uh, plus 22 and a plus 24 for TSM respectively. Um, yeah, I mean, fairly evenly matched teams on paper, but Timeless, I think, feels like they're just a little bit more ahead of the game and their backline too. The Brig and Arna is just such, it feels like a comfort comp for them, but then they can also double flex. They can go to the Alari. They can play the uh, Squid Bap and they can play the, uh, the Lucio as well. 
It's looking good for Timus right now as we head into King's Row. You know, I think TSM really are gambling here on a no hit scan strategy, right? With King and Rocket in the lineup, it seems like they want to play a double flex DPS, a modern style that I don't think is bad at all. But I do think there's a it's a real challenge in executing against, especially a hit scan as good as Vision, who, you know, if you make any slip ups, if your rotation is slow, you know, anything goes goes awry um, under the pressure of people like Doomed and Kuffa, then Vision's gonna find these kills. So for TSM, they need to be clean, you know, when it comes to something like a Nano Farah, it has to work, right? They're relying on breaking the game open with these big ultimate power spikes where Timeless is gonna be pretty happy just trading, being scrappy, allowing individuals like Doomed and Kuffa to just make space for this incredibly threatening backline that Timeless has to offer. All right, there's King back over to the Farah. Franco let rock in the break and the Ana, and no surprise there to see Timeless doing the same thing. Yeah, you know, strategically, I, I actually like TSM's comp. I think the Farah should be really good against Winston, should force Kuffa to potentially play the D.Va, or at least put him on the back foot if he does stay Winston. So, I, you know, I can understand why going to King's Row makes sense. You knew Timeless was going to play the Winston here, and you wanted to punish it, but will it actually pay off? In the end, this is a skill Oh, Kuffa's won! What a nade from Squid. Saving Kuffa at the last moment there before he got just destroyed. This is such a powerful position too, isn't it, Arna? Oh, it feels so good, good to be up here. Nice kill onto Rocket. See if they can find any more. Probably not, though. Yeah, nade miss from Renko there. So Kuffa's gonna be able to keep his HP high and, and hold on to this high ground. And I mean, TSM did a great job clearing out Kuffa last time. You can see he's just right back to this position and just forcing a response, forcing him to be cleared again. TSM maybe just gonna go straight for the back line, but really scary with Kuffa in this spot. Yeah, Kuffa pops down the bubble. Now the boost onto the D.Va, his anti shouldn't mean all too much, but a good sleep and a good whip shot. I mean, that nano uh, meant absolutely nothing there. Maybe a little bit of space, but that's about it. Kuffa does end up uh, succumbing to Icy in the very end, even without that nano damage. Still a lot was flung towards him, couldn't get out there alive, but now the fire is going to have such an easy time, Jake. There's uh, no high ground control for Timeless anymore. Looks like TSM, they're going to attempt to just take this one for free. And with Timeless, their numbers slowly dwindling with a vision dead. Looks almost inevitable. But they're still going to try this. A Nano onto the Tracer. Now going for it. Kuffa has been slapped. A barrage from King, though, just decimates Lucamino and Squid. Yeah, there's the point. Yeah, give him the barrage out for the Nano and the Pulse Bomb. You know, not the worst trade in the world here for Timeless. They're, they're willing to give it a shot. But you now I think these Nanos are going to be really scary. You got to keep your eye on Renko's ult charge. Not only is he just going to be, you know, perma healing Diva and keeping her up and farming nanos, but they're coming into targets like Diva and Farah, who can really just run through a character like Winston. So Kuffa gonna have a tough test, especially now coming up against Lep's rally. This is far from an easy dive to find. It's a lot, yeah, like you said, a lot of ultimates. Oh, good nade. Rocket takes care of Dooms in the Tracer duel. Lucamino had to get out of there and say, yeah, Timeless are on the run. Yeah, so far, TSM executing really well, doing exactly what they have to. Vision not able to find these kills that, frankly, he kind of needs to find because you're, you're playing on a clock again. against this Nano Faro. Oh, Lucamino narrowly escaping with their life. I mean, Kuffa jumping back there. I think Icy knew they didn't have long to stay in that engagement. Now, Time is looking to set up for a bomb, but Vision cognitive, uh, cognizantly aware. Something. He was very aware of uh, Rocket on the sidelines. Nano boost on the Farah, though. El Clasico, it feels like, at this moment in time in North America. Squid just blown up. King just struggling to keep himself up Ooh. here. And actually, Kuffa's just going to pull the Primal Rage to just smash Renko around. Same with King. Just uh, escorting Renko to his own backline. But this rally from Lep keeping the Ana alive and well in the front. The bashes, the packs, and even that overheld making sure Renko is uh, not eliminated in that fight. Three minutes to go is TSM now looking at second point, a capture on the horizon. Yeah, great work by Lep to keep Renko alive through the whole primal and Kuffa as well, not forcing and not overextending. He is going to get a retake, but so difficult. I mean, look at the map control right now from TSM. They are in such a dominant spot. Yeah, the barrage just quickly dealing with that bubble and that uh, the defense matrix. So yeah, it's pretty good for Diva and it's pretty good for Far as well. Stopping any heals, any sleep darts, any projectiles of any kind landing on the Far. A free barrage, a free kill, and a free checkpoint as well. Four minutes in the time bank for TSM. Yeah, and Rocket is really coming alive here on King's Row, right? Winning some of these tracer duels to open things up. 
Lugmino gonna make the swap over to the Liari, which I don't hate here on the last point to make a final hold, but it's gonna need to be big. It's gonna need to be pickoffs coming in thick and fast because Timeless really need to get the time bank down. You cannot let DSM cap with three what minutes. What a stick. But that is Dude. not the way to start the defense. Rock is so good on Tracer. It is kind of gross. All right, just get taken pretty low. No recall, but that's got the Mega Health back to play off of if he wants to. Decides against it in the end after receiving a couple of packs from Lep. As the Nano engaged from cover, splitting off the back line. At least a little bit, but Lip actually gets out of there alive. At least for the time being. Self-Destruct's going to isolate cover, who hasn't got Primal Rage. But Doom starts this fight off with a kill. Lep down, means a retreat for TSM. I love that from Kuffa. On his way out, jumps on the Diva's head, monkeying around, jumps out of there. And now a little bit of space granted for Timeless, opportunity to take the positions they'd like to hold from. This is where the Iliari can actually start to look really scary, right? When, you know, you're relying on an all-in Nano Farah dive. Wait, wait, Lukmino so far out. Almost so far up. Bursted from Poe, yeah, doing a little too much there. They really want to keep this forward aggression, but I think it'll be punished. TSM clearing the map out nicely. I mean, Albus has a decent ability to get away, but as soon as you use that, you are on an island. I mean, you see how far Renko is kind of playing back right now. Oh, I see he's going to try and take this high ground. I can use that nade for himself. Nano available. He's looking for it. There's the barrage. There's the uh, Nano on the far up. Barrage available from King. Bob on the point's going to be a little annoying, but oh, the barrage of the Primal were instant. Yeah, even with the Nano boost, Cover's able to get out of there. And Icy is de meched and de lifed as Icy ends up uh, going down to Dooms. Cheeky angle flip here from King, just going under the map, but quickly dealt with. Cuff is really doing a fantastic job navigating what is a quite a difficult situation here, right? You know, the, the damage threat Farah poses to Winston is pretty significant. Uh, she doesn't mind at all bursting through your armor. And Cuff is finding this great balance of trading the backline constantly, just making sure that Renko and Lep are just have to heal each other in these fights. They can't actually get into the mix and help the Farah too much in this backline fight. All right, now, can you get a captive sun off? Nice pulse bomb. Nade was on Cuff too, so no healing could come in. No nano boost either. Wouldn't have even mattered to be fair if he was nano. I think it was low enough that that damage resistance wouldn't have mean, uh, meant anything. Oh, Captain oh. Sun's used. Going over the high ground. I see tracking this. Yeah, instantly. There's, yeah. I mean, oh, you actually connected it with the D.Va. And it does uh, cause, actually, a nice little bit of a forward momentum push. I mean, Vision takes down King that entire time. I see was just looking at Lucamino. Pure distraction uh, from the Alari as they're going all the way to spawn. A minute to go. Cover does leap away to safety. So they're just keeping oh, up this squid. aggression, Jake. I love, you know, Cover really has a lot of patience in this game, right? You know, he's like priming this on it for 10 seconds and she ends up getting healed and he, he, he has the presence of mind to be like, you know what, I'm not getting that kill, I'm staying alive, right? And that's exactly what you need from a tank at this level. You know, kind of the stability to just read the game, read the situation and know whether the fight is really gonna go your way or not. And Cover has been able to stay alive through a lot of these questionable engagements just by having that awareness. Good name. Flushes out Kuffa. OT approaching at four minutes on this point, but no, only 20 seconds to go, and it will be an OT finish. Rally popped by Lep to start the fight off. Pulse Bomb misses. It was worth the attempt, though. If Doom gets the kill on the brig, it would have been all over, you'd imagine. TSM now deploying the Nano as a Renko set, uh, Rocket even sets up for some kills. Looks like uh, the rest of TS uh, Timers are able to scurry back to spawn alive. And with Lep going down and a Primal pop to the backline, Cuffer's just going to be able to kill Renko. Someone still needs to touch, though, as the self destruct just launched on the point. But Bob is going to be there to the rescue, holding the fort down, making sure Rocket can't get the final couple of meters in as OT ticks through. There's a duplication onto a Primal there. As a, will it get anything? I'm not sure because Lucamino oh. is still alive. But oh, in fact, I take it back. A nice little boot from Lep actually sinking Lucamino down into the pit. Surely not. Squid also ends up falling over. Both supports now dead for Timeless as they try and keep themselves alive on the points. I mean, Cuffer pretty healthy still as Squid Lucamino can swap to Kiriko if they want to TP through the spawn. They don't need it. Lep almost with a hero play, taking down both Lucamino and Squid, but Cuffer and the rest are able to hold on. Yeah, once again, right, the story of the round is, is timeless. You know, sometimes having struggles, sometimes the divers are coming in strong from TSM, but consistently, Cuff is trading these back lines, and that enables them to win the long fight, right? The fact that he's able to dodge the sleep from Renko using the bubble dancing, uh, and that has the primal to follow up, get back to the payload. Really well done by Timeless with the Winston comp in a matchup that I don't think favors them. Frankly, I think the Sfara Diva is a good pick. I think it's like strategically the right look. 
but to put Luke Mino on the Iliari as a way to respond to it, rather than taking Kuffa off of his comfort, it pays off, and they make the hold on third. Man, that was a, a close one, and defending with four minutes as well is pretty insane on the King's row. That, that so they, third point is, I think, where the Winston really gets to make his mark, where, you know, like, yeah. that, that back line doesn't have too many options about where they can position. You know, you're gonna get the chance to land on them. And, you know, Kuffa doesn't really miss too many of those chances, as well and as- always holding forward, too. Yeah, Every yeah. Every like, single time there's a position you can hold a little bit more forward, he's he's constantly having to be flushed out, like, with a nade, like, with a with a pulse, like, literally anything. Kuffa's just taking so much of the aggro. Let's get a quick timeless listen in though as they open up their attack. Yeah. I got it. I'm gonna... Grenade. Yeah. I'm gonna bubble you guys. Oh. Oh, nice bubble, bro. Oh, I thought I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm moved off. for the fucking TP, not the fucking spawn TP. I'm rotating now with you. Hold on, wait, he's rotating. Yeah. I'm gonna take top right first, okay? Yeah, yeah. Top right. I'm jumping in. Two. Right top right, three right side. Oh. Three now, three now. Three close, three close. I have this space, I have this space. Brick's chilling. I chill, 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 chill. Uh, I want to force point soon. I'm forcing point in two, one. Forcing bring point up, bring up, bring up. What am I? Right. 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 Yeah, I'm fine. Missing trigger. Don't turn me. I have to chill. Reloading, reloading, reloading. Really. Really. I could name taking top right. Bring inside. Oh, someone's yeah, bring up, bring up, bring up, bring up, bring up. Alright, left. Let's see. Chase. Name up point. Look, Diva. Come here, come here, come here. Nade, nade, I have to chill. Solid, 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 solid. Just building up. Break top right. I'm going top right again now. I have I'm top right. Everyone left. Break the whip. I was small. I'm full I'm again. I'm full again. I'm full again. You want to break top right? Yeah, yeah, Three, two, one. Canary. I don't want to break. I don't want to break. Canary. I believe a point. Should do, should do, should do. Good damn, good damn. Care, care, care. Sable, sable. Just make no no. Break top right. Break top right. Kite, 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 kite. So full sim point. Give the half. I'm back top again. Two, one. Back top down. We can turn, we can turn if they hard to race. Fire close, help division. Play, train, train, Nuri. We can take space now. Unsuccessful first attempt there, but they still get at least 33% on the point. Nano boost, uh, engagement now for Kuffer, but wow, Lep is out of there. Nice little anti onto IC. Might not result in a D suit though, but look at the positioning now that uh, the rest of the time is at. And everyone's low on TSM. They're trying to reset, get their HP back, but a beautiful bubble by Kuffa blocks all the heals. That leads to Icy Fall. Oh, yeah, D's not as well. Like, look at the pressure on the back line. Kuffa, I, I swear, man, it, this guy always has bubble. He always has leap, and that's a, really the mark of a good Winston when you feel like they have infinite cooldowns. It, He's eating. it feels so bad, and Kuffa is just feasting right now on TSM. That's the point. It's a tough comp to make work on offense, right? This they already, you know, on, on defense is one thing. On third point, we kind of take an off angle and just hold it down with your pylon. But on attack, you've got to force things to happen. You've got to make some of those moves. Here on the streets phase, I think it's going to be felt most dearly. We'll see if Luke can, can still find those connections without getting rolled over because left rally could be super devastating in this position. My vision's got a pulse. Lying in wait right now. The back alleys of London, not exactly where you want to be, to be honest with you. The no skin tracer. This is high level. Very high level. Sneaky, sneaky. Do they know? Uh oh, they do now. Oh, vision out of there. Yeah, triple blink up to the high ground, back to the mega, and back to the crouch game. Now do they know? Surely. Oh, Renko definitely doesn't. Oh, dodge is out of the way of the pulse bomb, though. Vision just popped that on the table. Tried to serve it up for dinner, but Renko just flipped it over and left no tip. There's a duplication onto the tracer. Maybe another free pulse bomb, but yeah, this backline is just so hard to die from TSM. Even harder now, Jake, with this rally being popped by Lep. There's the duplication. Dealt with quite easily. Another fantastic day by Squid, but they just cannot get it popping. Lep and Renko just an indomitable force right now in the backline. Yeah, I mean, I think this this grouping from TSM with the IC and the Ana Brig is just really difficult to push through. Lukmino can't really take an angle here. Not sure how he's gonna get purchased on this if they are. TSM are kind of happy to just stall out fights and wait for something to happen. It, it, it's looking good for them in the patient game. They need, no, they need another summoner, Jake, is what they need. Oh, that's good. All right. Oh, oh the sticky damage. A little bit OP there from Doom. That was an insta-kill on King. 
And uh, yeah, there you go. Nano on to the Echo, oh, but kid. I mean, luckily for TSM, yeah, they managed to pick out Vision. I mean, he's still, dude's still taking names now, but is he gonna be able to get out? No, surely not. There's the beam kill from Doom. They're rather late death as well from Rocket, but they still managed to take down Vision, I suppose. And with TSM still holding on to ult here, it's gonna be a, a rather good re-engage for them. Yeah, the stagger kills are painful. Now, the right has quite a bit more space to work with. Icy, we'll see if we can eat this captive sun. Lupina would love to get a connection on a backliner, but so difficult to find the way through that diva matrix. I love this high ground start, though. They're going to be able to poke so effectively from this angle. Like, Such a powerful spot. Game. Game. Well, duplication on the tracer, so a little bit of a harder target. But, oh, look how quickly they have to recall. Yep, dealing with the... Um, Diva Matrix is going to be rather tough. Captive Sun popped, hoping Icy looks his way so the rest of his team could do away with the back line. Oh, a double connection in the back. Rocket and King on the tracers. They do end up getting afflicted there by the Captive Sun, but there's no follow-up to actually get the detonations. Nano onto Icy, forces timers all the way back, but Sting uh, still falls to Lucamino. His double hit scan is just so deadly in the support lineup. Doomed is going to die though, and uh, Vision killing off left. Renko, no line of sights as once again Kuff is able to isolate one of the supports in that bubble as Vision is just uh, sending TSM to a frowny town right now. Yeah, Diva Bomb is oh, reset and somehow sweet. catches Squid. Caught slipping there, and that might be the end of the push. I mean, TSM, yeah. the bomb kill unexpectedly, I think, is going to. And Lucamino said. The regroup. There's one minute to go, Jay. This is a big reset here for Timeless. Yeah, it's a big fight to, to win. I would love to see Luke Mino go over to maybe to the break. I mean, he's been really good in the Ari, but yeah, this was a position where just turning tight corners is just not in the Ari's strong suit, especially when you need to open things up on attack. Now a bit more support for the backline. A beautiful on a cooldowns onto Icy forces him out of this corner. Yeah, they get space. They don't get a D suit, sadly. Nano versus the Rally. Nano doomed if you want. I mean, it worked before, just one shot King without uh, the Matrix being able to save him. Still posturing. Vision as well, kind of check a rocket. Rocket won the last 1v1. We'll see if it can continue, but Renko going down first is not a good start. A duplication onto the Ana was uh, just a, a death sentence there with those free nades. They're going to be able to get the touch too as King ends up also going down to cover. Oh, the Nano Boost? Oh, I don't know about that. But they do end up securing the fight anyway. Yeah, but they still have a few ultimates to work with, right? It wasn't your right. last ultimate in the tank. I agree, probably could have saved that and still won. But you know what? Secure They're gonna get second. another one at least in a minute and thirty. So. Yeah, I mean they've got they've got ninety seconds to make this happen, but uh, very winnable for TSM. I think they've done a great job running the clock down, and they have a lot to work with here on this third point. Yeah, Cover doing what Cover does best, and just take as much space as humanly possible. Looking like every parking lot in the U.S. Yeah, well, I'm glad so he laughed. Open it up with the with the primal here, though. I mean, no rally to shut down the primal, right? Real opportunity, I think, for Cuffer to blow this oh, wide open. Oh, you need to keep Lep alive. Nano boost deployed on Lep just to keep him up. Vision and uh, Cuffer are just such a menace in the back. That is a cooldown, pretty much wasted there by TSM just to keep the brig up. Good sleep onto Cuffer. He's it's good for one, but he's got primal rage. Yeah, exactly. And are you going to be able to survive against this? It doesn't look likely. Beautiful. A nice couple of boops there. Just juggling King around. Renko is just putty in the hands of Kuffa right now. They at least end up trading Doom there, but a support for a DPS. I mean, it looks like King want to back up the rest of his team, spawn another Arna in onto the map, but he's unable to get anything done. A nice defensive date there from Squid. Takes down King as he gets anti and now comes the final push, Jake. Left though, rally 96%. This could be just what they need to stabilize. Squid and Doom with ultimates coming online. Gonna have to find a dive as Rocket does miss the pulse bomb. See if they can find any opening. Overtime begins. Rally force relatively early from Lano. Nano, dupe available. Doom and Squid can just go on hard here. They deploy the Nano onto cover. Left ends up falling again. I see just isolated from the enemy, uh, from the, his back line. Once more, another bubble from Copper, stopping the heals coming through. A dupe pulse bomb thrown in by Dune, but this is uh, TSM's final legs. Icy's gonna be able to store this fight out for a little bit longer as Lep teleports in with the swift step on the Kiriko as Doomed Enders falling over. Timeless now, looking a little bit worse for wear, Jake, as Copper had to retreat down to that mega health back. He's gonna get pushed away. TSM with a miracle hold there on King's Row, end up securing a map. Oof, just slips away from Timeless in the final moments. A heads up swap to Kiri from left to clutch out, teleporting right out of the spawn. They're getting right back into the engagement. 
but a hotly contested King's Row. It may have been TSM's map pick. They do get the win, but wow, both teams really showing what they can do here on the dive comps. And I think TSM, frankly, working with a strategic edge there with, with the Diva and the Farah and the Echo uh, swapped a little bit later, punishing Kuffa's Winston, but Kuffa's still able to get a lot done on the Winston. Still, I think, a, a huge threat in this series, especially as we go towards map picks by uh, Timeless that allow them to play the Winston, that make that the dominant comp. Those are going to be tough maps to play. Runasapi up next as well. Like, you can play the Winston, you can play that dive, plus you can play the Ana Brig too. Like, with all these long straightaways, you can sit so far back as the Ana Brig. Cuff's doing a lot in this series. Let's uh, roll some highlights real quick before we get into Runasapi. Um, yeah, I mean, both these teams with a fantastic defense. We knew this series was going to be close, Jake, so not too surprised to see a 1 1 already. Yeah, definitely good plays out of um, TSM to keep this game in contest, to clutch up on King's Row. Rocket having a big performance on Tracer, I think it's it's important to mention here in this series, looking really, really strong. Uh, but the backline has struggled, frankly. I mean, Lep and Renko have struggled to deal with Kuffa's dives. They've been getting run over quite a bit here, and you need Icy and Rocket and King to kind of clean up the scraps and clutch out these fights. Luckily, they've been doing that. But will you be able to repeat it on Runasapi where, yes, Ana is super strong on Runasapi, but more importantly, I think Vision has a lot of space to play hit scan. I mean, this is a map where the double flex DPS, you could continue to force it, but to me, Runasapi is a hit scan map. I mean, it like those big, long open sight lines, it's, it's kind of Ash's dream, a lot of great placements for Bob, uh, just a great Ash map where you know Vision is gonna be super confident and comfortable. Wonder if we'll see any roster changes, maybe Chopper coming in or if, TSM are just going to stay confident in this double flex look. Maybe like a somber tracer to punish the hit scan could work. Somber tracer, yeah. I mean, we've seen it once. We could see it again. Man, covers Winston. It's very clean. Very clean. What a bomb from Icy. That's so unfortunate, too. You see a squid there. I think he got stuck on that little barrel or something. I mean, squid's just, rotation uh, was fast, too. He reacted, but Icy just put that bomb in, like, that's like the yeah. Diva 1 trick stuff. You shoot the bomb up in the air, and it looks like you're just randomly shooting it, but it lands at, like, the perfect angle to maximize your chances of catching somebody running away to that alleyway. So you got to give it to Icy. That's a really well-used self destruct Really nice self-destruct, and there it is. There's the map pool as well. New Junk City and a Junker Town to round us out. That's a timeless is pick on that Junker Town. So I mean, timeless is just picking. They're picking hit scan maps. Now I see it. Yeah, like, there go. Everyone, Asapi is a hit scan map. Junker Town's a widow map. I think they know that TSM wants to play this double flex style, uh, cutting the hit scan entirely from their roster. Uh, well, not cutting them, but but like I'm not looking for those styles at all. Just trying to play fast and punish hit scan heroes, which can work on a lot of maps. New Junk City is a great map to punish hit scan. But will it work on Runasapi? Will they even try it? I mean, this is one of the better long range maps in the game right now. All right, well, that is the map up next. What do you think TSM are gonna kind of battle with here? We've, seen, we've even seen a queen cop coming through, not from TSM specifically, but- um, It'd be good with how much Cuffa likes teams. playing Winston, right? Has a great matchup into Winston. Yeah. Um, but not necessarily a hard counter. I think especially at the highest levels of play, like this Ana can do a lot against Junker Queen. Um, I think it's kind of a question of do you bring it if you don't bring in chopper i guess your looks are like you know rocket's gonna be on tracer and then for king it's it's the it's the venture it's the sombra it's the echo it's these like high pace flex heroes that just land on top of the hits hand kill it first and then snowball the game from there and 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 win off of those you know big aggressive plays but diva is also i think a lot harder to to execute on a map that's just much longer range right there's longer sight lines you need to cross winston has no problem with that with these you know fast leaps diva as fast as she is with a speed boost, you know, it, it's super long range. It's just a little bit awkward, a little bit forced um, when the enemy can see you coming as you fly at them from long distance. All right, let's see what they want to rock out with. Vision hovering the Sombra right now. So, yeah, no the hit scan Reaper here. comes out. Oh, boy. The King Reaper. All right, okay. Alpha's got his work cut out for him now. Uh-oh. I mean, not uh, Reaper, definitely an unconventional choice here. We'll yeah. see if it actually works. I mean, Tracer Sombra can kind of dance away from you and kite you around the map, which is what I think Timeless needs to do to win. If King gets a connection into that backline, this is going to be really threatening, right? The Winston just cannot stand toe to toe with Reaper. Yeah, I mean, look at Timeless. They are just hard kiting right now. It's good, though. That's exactly what they need to do. See if this TP can get a catch. Mm, maybe. I mean, Cover's on this small little corner here. Bubble already down. That's still leap away. 
but in control and i mean tsm are doing a good job here four times on the other side of the map so they can get a free little bit of a, a bot presence and now timers have to fight into them and that's exactly where king wants you to be early recall there forced on to doomed so he goes pretty low his rocket is kind of Doing them dirty. A little bit of uh, getting worked in the neutral somewhat as the boy is just slowly moving away from timeless. Still, this EMP coming online very soon could really that change is the fast. tempo. Yeah, he's just farming. He's just, you know, playing the lip somber here. Mid game hit scanning. As EMP. Really EMP into the rush, though, kind of a hard place to use it. Yeah, Ooh. wisely does it. I like that. There's the sound barrier. Trying to get her up in a couple of seconds. EMP lands, hits four, but the over health there from TSM it can help keep them alive and take down Vision. Oh, so I'm looking for Doom. Stick somebody, but doesn't actually land a kill. I see eventually gets followed up there with the, the amount of damage necessary to get it. But are they going to be able to get the? No, they can't recontest for that checkpoint. That is a rather unfortunate for Timeless. I saw Suzu there on the front line, still trying to kite away from the Reaper. Good boob coming in from Lucamino. They're still going, Jake. This boy has moved far past the checkpoint. His Lep and King are still alive. And they're getting reinforcements. I mean, this type of a fight is exactly what you need for TSM, right? You've secured yourself a solid lead on the Mac. Heck, if you wanted to go to a Tracer Sombra Mirror, you easily could, and you still have a major strategic edge. But so far, King is doing a great job pushing the limits on this Reaper without getting punished. And I think you got to give Rocket a lot of credit, too, for really making these flanks a scary place to be for Timeless. That's where they need to dominate, is on the flanks, but you've got to contend with Rocket when you reach that location. All right, Primal Rage, vote for Icy Samu Cup, we'll see what both Winstons can do. Fawn can outdo the other. Recall Force onto Rocket. Now's Doom's time to strike, but Cover still coming up with kills, with the Primal. It's almost a guarantee, I feel like, as soon as Cover gets that Primal Rage, it's a team fight win, he's going to isolate one of the supports, and there is the team kill. I will say, as much as it's a great start for TSM, this is, for me, by far the most comebackable push map. If that's a real word, I'm, I'm going to use it. It's not nah, a real do. word, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Fine. But it's just a map you can definitely I'll make, make these the comebacks happen, right? The push, yes, it's nice to start for TSM, but they need to do more to really convert. And they're coming up against another potential EMP. Reaper is strong, but it's kind of a one-note hero. See if T Timeless can react well to it. Their vision looking for a little manual hack oh, there on the Reaper. Perfectly timed. No Wraith form available. We even hit the virus too. A lot of damage thrown on top. They do end up trading Lucamino as they were fighting in the rush the whole time. So one for one. No speed available now for Timeless. So chasing down TSM is a no-go. They're going to try and look for a small little flank here. But TSM very aware of the fact that no Lucio means times are pretty slow. Not so much anymore though with this rush being popped on their side of the map. A primal race from Izzy to get him out of there. Saves uh, the Winston's life for the time being. But a scrappy fight around this spot is going to be good for TSM. Just burning this time oh. down. And a double pulse from Rocket, too. Is there anything uh, this man can't do on the Tracer? I'm not sure. That's so huge, right? Because if Timeless get the regroup there, they've got the EMP. That's still, I think, a very winnable fight. But Rocket slams the door on any possibility of a turnaround. Yeah, replay real quick. Here it is. I mean, this guy makes magic with oh, the Okay, and this guy, oh, oh, Primal Punch. Nice. Oh, yeah, the Cuff Primal stood Punch. Still. He did what he boost. could, you know? Eesh. Stop moving there. Did, did the right yeah. thing, but yeah, the Primal. Too much. Holding his hands up, caught. Doomed on the Reaper. The Reaper is the meta. <laughs> <laughs> okay, They're running into this EMP, though. Oh, waiting for the teleport first. Waiting for this big engagement. EMP lands, hits two. Key targets as well. As Soundbarrow from left. Quickly burnt through. Yeah, that is uh, that is fight. Hey, I actually really like this adjustment to go to the Mirror Reaper. You know, Reaper is giving you some trouble, but the Sombra is giving undeniable value finding pickoffs. EMP is so huge. So maybe the Reaper Mirror is going to allow you to, like, let's take it to Icy, who not nearly as comfortable on Winston as Kuffa. I think this kind of puts the game back in Timeless's favor. I have to think they've got a good chance to make this comeback uh, with Kuffa's better experience on the Winston. I love the Reaper play style. Just kind of wait. Wait, you come to me, I shoot you in the face. Simple hero at the best of times, but in the right hands can be a, a a thing of beauty. Primal Rage from cover. Nice hack again onto King. Vision, the manual hacks have been so on point. Taking care of the Reaper there so they can't wraith away or even teleport away. And here's the bot in control of timeless for the time being at least. Another pick. Oh, good Suzu. Yeah, cleanses force, uh, you know, gets more progress here for Timeless. So, yes, you, you get out on TSM, you get a quick reset, but this is a critical fight. Now you're sort of fighting for your advantage. 
Icy. Let's see if we can make it work with the Primal, but it's not an easy place to Primal. We'll see if he's got it like that. Kuffa found good value. Oh, oh they're looking goodness. for an attachment here with a stick. The primal. Yeah. No, didn't even get it. 99%. Head in hands for Icy. And this is going to be checkpoint here for Timeless. Dominance, dominance. As soon as the Reaper comes out, I mean, it's a hard matchup to navigate, but now I feel Kuffa is really starting to shine, right? Both Winstons with the you know, same level of pressure on them, and I think Kuffa is just a much more experienced player. I think he's going to do a lot better in this situation. So really, I like this from Doom. Uh, very unconventional to play Reaper, maybe even more unconventional to Mirror Rift, but I like it in this situation. I think it's the right read. Oh, EMP Death Blossom, right. a classic combo online. Yeah, well, uh, Vision's in a good spot to use it. Quickly detected, EMP lands, only hits one. Pulse Bomb connects with Cuffer too. Vision instantly taken care of. Was it? it felt like TSM were almost ready for it there. Everybody splitting up and taking cover. As soon as that EMP, as soon as you see the little glimmer of the Sombra, you know it's coming. Only hit Icy, and Icy survived that entire fight. And they managed to get a, get a couple themselves and take the forward spawn again. Yeah, maybe Timeless, a little bit too much tunnel vision on the EMP, not fighting well enough before it comes off. And then when it does, it's a little bit lackluster. And, you know, TSM aren't scared to continue that engagement, especially with that big cleanse from Renko. I mean, Renko's got this rush to rush disadvantage for, T, uh, for Timeless right now. B comes in for Lucamino, a return one, and there comes Doomed. Nice little bit of damage there on Taleb, but they end up trading squids. Not a good trade at all, as in fact, Lucamino also ends up going down. Another spin to win from King. Not sure they really needed it. Kuffer's Primal Rage has to be the deciding factor in this fight, as the backline is non-existent for Timeless, as Kuffer can't quite secure a kill as TSM are now moving on forward. Still, I don't mind the Primal from Kuffa, right? It means that TSM don't get any further advantage in the map. They're not able to make any barrier progress. So you kind of slowed things down. What could have been a really rough fight, now quite stable. Icy still really hasn't found the window to Primal. He's been holding on to this ultimate for quite a while. Maybe now's the moment. Maybe now it is. There it is. Perfectly cool, Jake. Wow, look at that. All right, a couple of little boosts there from Lucamino to keep Icy in check. Sub 100 HP just gets chased down by Kuffer. A rush was also utilized there by Squid, but TSM are doing a good job of stalling out this bot. They've brought it back to their side and they're going to put, the, put themselves in forward spawn position. So Icy's going to be able to come back pretty quickly. Any pickoffs here as well for TSM, and they're going to be golden. Do you want to fight? They're, still they're stealing the bot away, right? If they can just live and, and stay in this engagement. Could be in a good spot here playing on Kuffa's bubble. <gasps> Suzu. Oh, it didn't connect with Doomed, but no, you're chilling, you're good. Although not what? much, not what for much longer. Nice little headshot there. King ends up going down, but not before. Doomed gets isolated and then death blossomed on top of 80 boss meters and TSM have Ooh. once again stolen the bot. Number one crime in Runasafi, Grand Bot Auto. Wait, no, Grand Theft Auto. I mean, Grand, Grand Theft, Theft Bot. bot. <laughs> yeah, it worked, kind of. Oh, Sombra! Oh, no oh, way. And Icy did the overextend for that. Nah, he's shot. Oh, even Ross, uh, Rush used by Renko. I mean, they're setting up for an EMP here. Be a decent chance to use because everybody's kind of grouped up on this Rush. Sees the opening. It hits the EMP. Hits three, two, but 107 meters to 62 with only 40 seconds to go. Perfection required now from Timeless. They've got what they need, though, to start this pendulum swinging back the other way, right? They got a big bank of ultimates to work with, uh, you know, and especially, I think, this this rush is a key factor. But the Reaper's in play, the Katsune rush, I mean, Reaper just tears you apart uh, when he's able to stand on that ultimate, getting the movement speed, the attack speed, it's just everything Reaper could possibly want, he gets from the ultimate. Icy, he's got this Primal. Last time he got punished pretty quickly on the rush as well. Rocket forced to recall early. Not the best start for TSM in this fight. Lep's been manually hacked to 2% two away from that sound barrier. It's going to be a perfect target for Kaffa to go towards. Lep, 1 Ooh. HP. Oh, it doesn't get the beat. Oh, nice sound barrier from Lugamino, giving everybody in the fight as well. Lep just hounded down. Time is with a, a perfect call on who they want to focus. They do end up expending yet another ultimate, so an expensive fight, but an expense that you're going to have to bear if you're timeless. You're in OT and you still need to gain 45 meters or so. That's really big from TSN that they get the rush out. I think Squid would have loved to hold on to that, but at the same time, you can't really afford to lose players in this spot. You've got to keep everyone alive and ready to fight. 
doomed. Can he find a, a Death Blossom here? I mean, it's a tall order for the Reaper all up against Lucio Sound Barrier, typically a much stronger tool, especially in the overtime scenario. You cannot back away from the Sound Barrier uh, unless you have somebody called the car. All right, Doom's gonna have to go crazy here. He pops the Death Blossom, but here comes the Sound Barrier. Oh, and Lep with a double. That's gonna be it. TSM are going to hold Timeless's push on Runasapi. A Timeless map pick as well, Jake. As TSM, they gain that early lead and just continue to pile on the pressure. TSM in a map point scenario now against Timeless. And another map where, you know, you create this huge advantage for TSM playing heroes that just really punish Kuffa's Winston. Like, he's so good at Winston, he's having phenomenal games, even into the counters. But at the same time, you are playing Winston in a Reaper, you are playing Winston in a Farah, and that's enabling, you know, players like uh, a King, I think, to really shine in this series, that his counter picks are, are putting them on the back foot. Uh, Vision on the Sombra was solid, but I don't think they ever saw the Reaper coming on this map. I mean, I think for sure TSM had that one in the bank and they executed really well, never straying from that composition with full confidence that they could make the win against the Sombra. And now they're on their map pick as well in New Junk City. Are they going to still put the pressure on King to overperform on the Winston against comps that are uh, designed basically to stop the Winston from doing anything? We'll have to wait and see. Jump some highlights real quick before we uh, get into that next one. Yeah, it looks good. Every single time he's got a primal, he's getting kills. But Reaper, yeah, it, it's a tough matchup for sure. Yeah, Even I, I, I want to point out Vision as well. They did end up losing this map, but a lot of crucial hacks on King, on Lep at the right times. I think the Sombra Tracer has looked good from Timeless. Yeah, I think, it, I think it is a big threat. I mean, a lot of weaker teams have crumbled against it. I think Rocket's Tracer is a really crucial factor here, though, right? Able to take tons of these fights on the flank and look really good doing it. You know, most teams that Timeless plays, I just don't think they have a Tracer like Rocket. You know, Doom is just like running over the flank and the, the winds are coming easily. And with Rocket on the field, it's just a much more difficult prospect. Beautiful cleanse by Renko that blocks the hack on both supports. And then, of course, Rock, I mean, Rocket with another false bomb. He's hitting those. He's giving them out like like candy on Halloween, and you know it's uh, he's he's like the nice family who have the who have the king size candy bars. He's giving them <laughs> to everybody. The king size, nice, nice. I like that. He's been cooking these for a little while. All right, New Junk City. Do you expect maybe Timeless go to a hit scan? Because that's what we initially discussed, Jake. Like I mean, going into this map. Um, well, Vision can just play hit scan. We can play cast. We can play Ash. We can play long range. Like we can play slow. It's not really. The hit scan map. I think. I mean, honestly, right. give credit to Timeless, or rather, to TSM's coaching, because this is great map selection. Like, probably the worst hit scan map in the game. Uh, you know, New Junk City, certainly the worst flashpoint map for it. So, Vision, will he try to make like something like a Cassidy work, or will it be more of a dive look? Regardless, I think TSM are in a great spot to maybe close out here with, with a Malga double flex DPS style. Well, TSM about to knock Timeless, potentially the tournament favorites too, down to the lower bracket. New Junk City up next. After this break, don't go anyone. Uh, don't go anywhere. This is not one you're going to want to miss. New Junk City up next. TSM about to run away with this series as uh, Timeless looking pretty damn good on Samoa. Let's be real ourselves here. With Timeless only, uh, TSM only taking one round. King's Row, pretty close up there. But Runasapi, on the other hand, TSM way more in control. Kind of surprising, Jake, honestly. We discussed uh, a lot about kind of compositions, how times are going to play against TSM on those kind of maps. Um, but it's all, for TSM at least, it's all about shutting Cuffers Winston down, which has been the main thorn in the side for them. Yeah, and I, I can't say they've shut him down. Like, he's still been playing well, but he is playing in matchups where it's just limited how much you can do. And honestly, there's probably no worse matchup than Maga, which is probably what I expect to see TSM bring out here. They look great on Volcano. We look back to Samoa. Yes, Timeless won that map pretty dominantly. The two rounds they won were, were pretty one-sided. They looked really good on the dive comps. But when it was a Maga mirror, TSM were firmly in control. This is where the roster really shines with double flex DPS from King and Rocket. And Icy just looks great. Kava is going to take the mirror, but sort of a weird look. I mean, Timeless, I think they're still kind of figuring out. I think they know the Mongo's coming. They're trying to figure out what's their approach going to be uh, in the mirror. Looks like their approach is Squid on the app. And then I don't mind Caspar. Hard yes. map for it, though. Not much space to work with. You need to be clean. You need to kill off these flanking DPS very quickly. Yeah, and flank they will be doing. I mean, Rocket and King on the perfect flank heroes. Yeah, instantly kind of Luke Amino there, popping the head around the corner, just spotting out one of the DPS. And remember, this is the comp that TSN ended up winning with on that control on Samoa. 
They're very happy going in this one to one. Well, Although saying that, though. a little uh, overextension there uh, by Lep. And as long as Vision, ideally, Jake, is protected, and he will be with the Baptiste, I mean, he could, uh, yeah, he could take him to Pound Town. Like, this could be a rough game, because that Hindenade it, against Avenger and the Tracer, it's very tough to come back from that. You get hit by that, you're dead. Yeah, seriously, it's like this, this almost like an ultimate on a cooldown when you're Avenger or Tracer in this comp. Also, to be honest, I think Tracer is really bad in the Malcolm Mirror. Like, just does right. not do enough damage, especially when it comes down to, like, cage fight and just unload on each other. Tracer does not want to be in that cage, cannot use recall or blinks in the enemy MAGA cage, which is just devastating, obviously, for this character. So, honestly, I think Rocket, very, very good on Tracer, but he's in a tough scenario, not really going to be enabled to succeed. Has to force his will to make this happen. Yeah, he's not really participating in these fights either right now. Just on the point, permanently contesting, at least drawing some eyes from Timeless, but Cardiac Overdrive's from both sides. Everybody's rather healthy. There's the flip, actually. So it does end up coming through. Rocket putting enough pressure in, but is it really enough? A nice direct there on to Lep. Suzu comes in just to save Lep's life. Same with Icy, who now is in a 1v1 versus Doomed. I mean, you got the point flip, sure, but it's 70%. I mean, if Timers find any more stagger kills here, TSM are going to have a rough time getting back into this one. Oh, and there it is. Rocket dead. At least as a tracer, right? Probably the one hero who is going to be able to get back in time. They're hunting for more. Surely they don't find anything doomed. You should be careful here. Okay, the squid is around to stabilize the situation, but Timeless, with this, you know, vastly higher DPS in the back line from Cassie and Fire, they're happy to play these engagements super slow and just grind out TSM's resources. Touches. Oh, just the window. In time, this mate. position for the window is so devastating. Well, Renko at least uh, carrying in this small room. You can hear up Icy. Icy too, just being up to hide behind this uh, massive robot in the middle. There's the barrage. Lamb's going to save them. Oh, good kill on the lamb by Rocket. Connects with Doom, who's stationary in the skies. Still, though, Timeless in a good spot. 99% on this point. They're going to have another fight. And now they're running into the cage, the sound barrier. But saying that, they've got a cage of their own. I mean, that was a fight that should have been a lot more difficult for TSM. Maybe Timeless overplaying a little bit, uh, forcing that barrage in onto Almago, who's just, you know, life stealing 10 million, cannot be damaged. <laughs> so well done by Icy to stabilize through that and, and clutch it out. Timeless, though, still have a big advantage, still opportunity to win this one out here. They are going up against Cage and Tectonic Shock. Cage shock, yeah, pretty scary. I'm not sure we came up with a name for it just yet. Well, there's the cage from both sides. High noon two. He's gonna have to make his way through both those barriers first, though. Ends up getting one kill, but not before cover ends up falling over. Soundbar for Lucamino keeps fishing alive in the fight as they just run over Icy Doomed as well with the final rocket onto Rocket. Um, ends up alienating his life as TSM are team killed and timeless take the point. King Jake unable to get that tectonic shock off, which would have just eviscerated timeless. I like this swap from Icy, frankly. Like, I think if you're gonna run the Tracer, you're gonna be in a big disadvantage in the Maga mirror. So Icy gonna go over to the Diva, try and just, you know, commit to a more of an aggressive diving style. But now I think Squid and Vision are gonna be very hard targets standing behind a Maga. They're gonna be able to stand and deliver Maybe King can break open that formation with Tectonic Shock. We'll have to see, but I, this is a tough situation for TSM. They really don't have much poke at all. They've got to get kills quickly. They do indeed. The longer this fight goes, the more time it gives Vision just to find a kill. Forceful Man Shock available though, Jake. And then there you go. As soon as they peek around this corner, Cardiac Overdrive in response. And no one really wants to peek this, knowing how much you can heal, just after a, a couple of little shots. TSM end up capping the point first, however, and here comes the engagement on the high ground. Rush also used as King, now trying to find a good angle, but, oh yeah, don't want to peek that either. That window is pretty deadly, although a nice little dive into the back line is going to isolate Squid. Lamp's already been used too, so an easy kill on the Baptiste they found. Same with Vision, also ends up going down as the fight breaks through. I mean, look, King isolating one person at a time. It's so easy to pick off uh, people with that drill dash, forcing them into positions where they don't want to be. TSM still winning this fight, so only the traces to take down. Down now as they hold the point for 50% now and building as an expensive fight from both sides but Timeless now trying to get back into this one. If Timeless are careful about this Diva spam from Icy, he might not have the mech suit as we start this next engagement. Could be a nice little boon for Timeless as they start the initiation but getting the poke damage now on Diva, they've got to keep her up. She needs to get back in the suit. 1%. Oh, that was my. close. An aggressive peak there from Squid. It might actually cost Squid's life here and it does. They're just running him over. I mean, you have to take those risks, though, to be fair. 
TSM are going to be able to cap this point, and now the rotation to the next one begins. So far, Diva Swap seems like a good adaptation, right? In the end, it's still a pretty tough map for Hitscan, you know? Uh, Vision, pretty committed, I think, to the characters at this point. I don't even think Sombra really is a better answer here. Um, so we'll see. Vision, he's got to find some more of these, like, crucial kills on the flankers. It all comes down, I think, to getting those connections on Flashbang. But it's so hard with D.Va, right? You could just throw it out in the perfect moment, and then it's eaten up and, and or, or cleansed off even by Renko. So TSM have good counterplay available to the cast. Yeah, the TSM. Or he's taking this high ground, which is going to be pretty nice for them, especially with Squid and Vision, although Vision's playing on low ground right now as the point unlocks. Now, who makes the first move? And imagine it's going to need to be TSM. I think Timus are happy to sit back and make space, but the rush is going to be overwhelming straight to the back line. The sound barrier, though, is going to be instantly popped as well as that cage. That's a nice little pulse on the back of the head of the Malga, but, I mean, it's Malga. Come on, he's going to shrug it off. Instantly healed all the way up to full as soon as that cardiac overdrive is pulled. And TSM, they be the heads up play there, Jake. Throwing both support ultimates, just try and isolate vision, but the sound barrier and the lamp keep the cast alive. And timeless cap the point. I mean... Cage fight, devastating ultimate here. Yeah, TSM though, they're gonna have to re-engage in this one. They're just gonna have a quick listening for this next fight. Uh, this one, this one. Cast, 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 Shoot, what's touching? Just spray a little bit. Be left. Facing fair left. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Chill, chill, chill. Okay, okay, another window. Now. They still have window. I want to hold close. Yeah, yeah look at me, look at me, look at me. I'm going to push in. Maybe. I'm going to hold behind them. Actually, cast is baiting, cast is baiting. Okay. Let me know where they are. Face is on ping. Alright, King in a nasty little spot here. This tectonic shock, surely they see the outline. Oh, maybe not. Forced the recall, actually. Onto dude was not ready for King holding the off angle. Yeah, and Kuffa's gonna bring out the Ramatra. I think just a little bit of a, of a better matchup against the D.Va can punch through that Matrix. But King is about to hit the flank with Tectonic Shock. This is a scary place to be. <laughs> Lamb's gonna at least save them for the time being, but I think the damage has already been done. Actually, a window's been used by Squid there, so there's no use for TSM fighting in that small corridor. They will get blown up by Vision. It's still a messy fight, though, as King does end up getting stuck, but I see Lep have already come up with kills, and TSM controlling this point as well. It's final fight territory here for Timeless. They're going to go for this, trying to touch the point with this uh, Bap and Ramatra. Pretty devastating duo, but still, it's only two of them as I mean, TSM are swarming over them. Wait, hold on, Kuffa with one. Stick, though, onto the Bap. Surely Kuffa doesn't walk away with a victory here. TSM in OT, sound barrier hits, hits three, but it's enough. Force the recall onto Doom there as Rocket just now pounding on the door. Kuffa ends up eventually falling, even in that Nemesis form. And with overtime here, even a little D suit shouldn't matter for TSM, as now they are on round and match and map point, Jake. Yeah, I mean, they look so good on this double flex lineup. I think Vision has frankly struggled on a map that really doesn't enable hitscan. You have very short sight lines. You know, it's very easy to get jumped on top of, especially Diva Lucio, man. That's an explosive dive to get on top of a Cassidy. And then you're, you're you know, that's the, that's the anvil. And then the hammer is rocketing King with this double flex DPS going straight to the back line. Doom to the May. Maybe that can slow down some of these explosive rushes by a little bit more time for Squid and Vision to work. Rocket. Really good tracking onto Doom there, actually forces the block. Annihilation from Kaffa. It's going to be tough to fight this one if you TSM. A lot of AoE. King immediately isolated and killed. And this, this comp, Jake, so much more defensive too. Times have made a, a complete compositional swap, basically, with Kaffa now on the Ramatra. Of course, he was on it last fight, but now with the May, he's going to play so differently. Yeah, I think the May wall is pretty nice. You know, as Venture, you can't burrow under the May wall. Uh, and so it can actually delay some of that initiation. King gonna swap to the Farah, but kind of a tough spot to play Farah, right? Squid and Vision can both really shoot back. Decent structure to play around here, but TSM, you got self-destruct, but it's not really the ultimate to initiate with necessarily. And Timeless are gonna be really happy in any kind of a slow fight. Yeah, window coming up soon. It's definitely what they're trying to play for, I'd imagine, or this uh, Blizzard. Do not get caught by Vision's Cassidy. Still, Rockets all wrap around. Such an X factor in a fight like this. 
All right, there's a small engage. He's trying to take as much space as possible to give a uh, rocket an opening. Oh, I see he's really low. Paul Swan goes out, but goes wide. Not uh, something we're used to seeing, to be honest with you. Self destructs from IC, but Cuffer is able to kind of lay waste to them. However, they were trying to touch the point that whole time. A rather scrappy affair, Ooh. 3v3, but a perfect nade onto Renko. A headshot followed up with the mag nade, and there you go. Vision taking over the game and not going down without a fight as TSM still with two points on the board, still with the opportunity to take the series as IC now swaps over to the Malga. That's a huge kill from Vision, stabilizes the fight, shows why they want to put this guy on the hit scan. He can make things happen. And with a big bank of ultimates, Timeless are looking pretty good for the chance to take TSM's map pick and force a game five. Still, you've got to get through Icy's Maga. Oh, the barrage, well, that'll do. <laughs> nice little barrage in the small corridor. Really nice time to take that fight as well, Jake. Only a couple of seconds before this point unlocks, you're guaranteeing yourself a uh, first cap. Yeah, you're definitely going to be in position here. Timeless, though, they didn't waste any ultimates in that spot, right? If you had died ulting, it would have been a much worse scenario. So they still can, you know, peek out with a window and force some kind of uh, over-aggressive engagement. In the end, once Icy charges in with his uh, with his pinning ability, he's going to be super vulnerable to Doom's Blizzard. Maybe Renko can save him from that, but it, it could be potentially scary even for a hero as strong as Mago. Yeah, the Suzu is going to have to be on point. Sound barrier as well for left, to be fair. There's the high noon. Amp speed around the corner. Slowly but surely now. Time is taking space. It's really nice to get the flip there. Absolutely worth the high noon usage. Yeah, 100%. Take a flip for that any day of the week. Oh, Luca Mino booped up into the skies there as King pops his head around. All good, though. Beats still landed, and now Vision on a nice little angle. Misses the headshot, oh. though, and now Vision's in trouble. Has to receive the land to stay alive with the Blizzard in the small corridor. Just a death sentence for Icy. Truly living up to his namesake. But Rocket with a double pulse bomb. This is ridiculous. Rocket with a game of his life on Tracer right now finds the team kill for TSM as they regain control of the point. He is just refusing to lose on his Tracer. I mean, one of the most ridiculous series of pulse bomb connections I've seen in quite a while monster performer dooms fails the pressure needs to match on the tracer this is going to buy them a little bit more time to touch point and, and like take a more patient engagement and maybe king's barrage can buy something here but without any support without any second ultimate it could be kind of hard to get through this could be round and map and series here, Jake. Oh, King overextending a little bit there to try and chase Doom. He ended up forcing the recall pretty early, but there's the charge in. Vision's under a lot of pressure. The barrage from the back line as well as Lucamino is felled. Same with Squids. Annihilation's the only thing that Timers have left in their tank, but they're just going to lock him down and shut him out. Timeless end up falling as TSM are going to round out this map and series. 3-1, they take the victory and they lock themselves in the grand finals. Really well coached by TSM throughout the whole series, right? I think like consistently put themselves in the driver's seat uh, as far as composition. And then when it came to the individual playmaking, I mean, King brought the flexibility to, to always be on the right answer to what uh, Timeless tries to play. And then Rocket's Tracer. I mean, it's beyond whether it's the right or the wrong answer. It's just, just look, put this guy on Tracer and like we'll figure the rest out somewhere else in the server. Like it seems like the right idea for TSM with how well they played on this stuff. I mean, Jake, I know you're not a big fan of numbers and stats, but I would love to see the pulse bump efficiency for oh, Rocket gosh. in this I, I would be a fan it of that number. Filthy. Like, that one, put it on the CV. Like, actually, you skip the profile picture. Just he got so many double kills, there. it has to be better than one kill per pulse attempt. Like, 100%. So many doubles. I say that with so much confidence without having to see <laughs> the numbers. But yeah, yeah, no, what a series. Absolutely refusing to lose there from a Rocket. And quite frankly, the second half of the series, that just seemed to go all in TSM's favor. They had such a good idea. They identified those Winston compositions from Timeless, obviously being their strong suit. It's in Kaffa's wheelhouse. So being able to play compositions to shut that down or at least make it more difficult for them to get value out of that Winston, that was the winning recipe. I, I couldn't agree more. I mean, it was impressive how well Kaffa played in a series where I think he's being heavily countered in terms of the style, the approach. Clearly, TSM is hyper aware of his Winston. They're putting a lot of respect on the name to be picking these comps all around this concept of like, we're going to try and force you to play D.Va or force you to just get off Winston, uh, whether it's the Maga, the Reaper, the Farah. I mean, in the end, they win the series, but I think Cuff had really acquitted himself well. And this is 
I feel like we have to get a rematch of this series. I mean, this has to be the grand finals. Both these teams, I think, playing super well in the series. Uh, you know, and I think, honestly, you could see Timeless with another run at this with now TSM having shown their hand a little bit. If Timeless can make some adaptations, I could easily see a different result or at least another very close series if they do rematch in the grand finals. Yeah, I really hope we see this rematch. And it would be a, a, a best of seven too, or a first to four. So we see even more action. I mean, yeah. this could have gone really <laughs> either way. Oh man, I mean, Carfus Winston, I like that point, Jake. The fact that he has been heavily counted, but still comes up with massive value. And I think it's, it'll be a good uh, bit of learning as well for Timeless. Like, if we do get that rematch, like, I want to know what they're going to bring to the table next. Oh, Rockets Pulse Bombs, man. They are just absurd. So sick on Tracer. And there's a great job, I think, uh, by the back line, you know, providing a lot of stability. I, I mean, like, this is these little moments, right? If, if Icy dies here, we could have seen a very different New Junk City. I mean, it, it really is a distance of inches between these two teams. Icy as well, I think, with a lot of the hero swaps that kept them in the driver's seat, that allowed them to come out and clutch, uh, you know, bringing it full circle back to the Mago once the Romantra is forced. Uh, so finding the answers throughout the series, Icy, well done with the flexibility there on tank. I could have also, been a big shout out block. to the coaching staff there. I feel like the the map selection heading into this one, etc. There were just a lot of layers to strategy from both teams, in fact, uh, which were on full display. Well, yeah, Rocket getting player of the match, to no one's surprise ever. <laughs> I, that was just the filthy performance. Like if you have a tracer like that, I don't know. Take my lunch money. Yeah, it's it's all too easy when Rocket's in the server, that's for sure. I mean, the, the Tracer play is just ridiculous. And I think a couple of times, Jake, even you said, like, Tracer is tough here. It's almost like the Kevster effect, right? It's like, okay, it just doesn't matter what Kevster plays, or like, if you just play Tracer, whatever, even if every every single pick on the enemy team counts, they're going to find value. I think Rocket is like that uh, for TSM. I'm thinking more like Ons or something. He's like, I'm just going to play my Ons? hero no matter oh, what. Oh, okay, you do. sure. Yeah. Kevster I'm will not play Tracer in this spot, right? Kevster will go Genji because right. uh, it's just a better matchup. You know, he's going like, to play, play Widow and he's going to It's more five. like, a, like <laughs> I don't care what you do. I am going to play my best hero and roll you. And Tracer is that hero where, like, even if it's a tough matchup, if you're just sticking every pulse bomb, it's like, well, you know, you're not supposed to be doing well, but if you just keep hitting pulses, keeps opening up team fights for your squad, I mean, I can understand why TSM play Tracer. Well, speaking of Rocket and his Tracer, he's actually going to join us for a quick chat for a winner's interview. So let's bring Rocket, the man of the hour, in after just watching the highlight reel <laughs> there as the player of the match. Rocket, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on the dub. How are you feeling right now? You just had a monstrous performance on your Tracer. Uh, thank you so much. I mean, it feels really, really good to, you know, finally take out, you know, these upper echelon teams after, you know, it felt like such a long time of, you know, definitely underperforming as a team. Um, I think, you know, I think I lost a lot of what, you know, I kind of lost track of what made me special. Um, and I kind of, you know, just lost my identity over for a long period of time. But I think I've regained it. And, you know, these guys are these guys are good. You know, these guys, the enemy team, like they're, they're a really good team. But today, like, I think as a team, we were way better. Is there a, a team you think you're going to see in the finals? Do you think it's going to be Timeless again, or is there another team that maybe sticks out to you? Definitely Timeless. I, I don't think anyone else in the tourney is capable. Obviously, you know, we had a, an upset to Citrus and Ode to BCS, but um, I think with a little bit more prep time, especially against that ball comp, um, you know, I don't think ball's as good uh, if you're not Junbin. So, you know, just a little more prep time, I think <laughs> we'll be fine. So I'm curious, you know, for you guys, you, like this is a big win, you know, like you said, to beat a top team over after a, like a long period of, of it's fair to say you guys not really performing to your potential, to your best self. Uh, do you guys, is this like a big wind in the sails? What's the emotion like, I guess, getting this win? Uh, and how were you looking at the match going into it? Were you, did you feel like you were the favorites or were you a little worried at all? Oh, oh totally. We, I, I felt like we were the favorites for sure. You know, like I said, like re reconnecting with my individual identity and I think you know, a lot of that was being capable of, of, of leading uh, a team no matter who I have. Um, and not just, you know, not talking, trying to 1v9 on, on Trey, like, like kind of how I was approaching it before. Um, you know, I think when I, when I really, you know, try and lead and, you know, make sure everyone understands everything, you know, hours before the match, you know, prepping the enemy, setting their VODs. When we have that prep time and I'm, I'm in the game in the server as a leader, I think uh, there's no one we can beat, can't beat, especially in this journey. 
Well, I mean, the preparation was on full display. You guys were phenomenal today, and we hope to see a repeat performance, of course, in the Grand Finals, for which you now qualified. Rocket, thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck. Thank you so much, guys.